Hello there and welcome back to Blizz County. Welcome to part 7 of my Let's Play here. Oh, Colin is just sleeping here. But there's a problem. They're all sleeping together. Now, if we, they all push the beds together, they're sleeping five men to a room and me and a couple gals in there too. But five people to a room, that just don't fly in Blizz County. You know, everybody's got to have their own room, of course. So what we're going to focus on is building other colonists' rooms up. And what that entails is, you know, if you got five colonists, you obviously need five separate rooms. Now, the thing with uh, rooms is some people, this is a um, debated topic on my stream, how big the room should be. Some people like just to make them the uh, length and width of a bed, so a two-by-one room. Uh, the Blizz people in Blizz County want a nice hospital environment, not hospital, you know. They want a nice environment they can inhabit that doesn't suck, is what I'm trying to say. So uh, what I typically do is if you saw in the last stream, I was making five by six rooms. Now if you see on the stats here, they got needs and there's a space need, right? So they don't want to be, you know, crammed or sharing and they don't, obviously don't want to be sharing a bedroom, but they don't want to be crammed in the room. If, they ever, if they're ever sleeping in their room, you know, they want to have a nice, a very nice feeling of, they want it to be very spacious, Ooh, very spacious indeed. So in order to do that, I pretty much make it by a five by six that's typically what I do. You can, you know, experiment with other room sizes, but I find that 5x6 works perfectly for me. We've already started building two of these rooms out right now, but I'm slowly starting to build some more. I might curve this hallway in a little bit and then start making rooms that actually branch out here like so. So let's make a 5x6 here. And then let's extend it like this. Let's make a 5x6 here. Oh, I forgot to, you also have to, like, um, so the plan here is that you have your hallway that your colonists will walk down, and then you have your door on this one here, and then you have your room. And in every room is supposed to be a heater and a light. Now, the heater is kind of debatable if you're in a very warm climate. I don't think you might really ever need it. If you're in a very warm climate, you'll just have to see, you know, if the room is warm. But a light is always essential, and it's just something I actually haven't built up in here. So I'm actually going to put it's in furniture, standing lamp. I'll actually just put a lamp right here, so it's very bright, and people can actually you know see, and they won't be pissed off that it's dark. It's dark, you know what I'm saying? Darkness, everybody! Darkness is spreading. So anyways, we're going to build a couple steel doors here, just for these rooms. Actually, no, we're good. We're we'll be fine. So. We're now going to speed this up here. There we go. Super duper fast. Alright, we got you know Jack Notch and Teresa here just, you know, having the time of their lives. So Blizz and uh, Ivan are out mining right now. Ivan is the main cook. We got our light. So at night time, they won't be in the dark. Well, I guess at night time it's okay, but during the day they won't be in the dark anymore. Or completely in the dark anyway. I'll just get Teresa to haul out a bunch of these chunks. She's out just cleaning it, up, cleaning up the fridge right now. But let's see if there's a. All right, cool. There's no roof over there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we also need to set an order to haul all these chunks out. So Teresa is gonna be hauling all these chunks out. Let's see how our dumping stockpile is doing. There's a uh, quite a bit of space left in the dumping stockpile. Both Blizz and Valentin are just out here, just you know, smashing the crap out of that farm there. It's, I love the big farm, having two people man it and everything. It's a great time. Teresa's also hauling back all these strawberries. How the, how's the strawberries doing? They're uh, doing pretty good actually. We got a solar flare. Oh god. Oh no. So what solar flare will do, if you see right there, it's an intense radiation that shuts down electrical devices. It's pretty much an EMP. It means your batteries don't work. It looks like you're actually getting power from your solar and your wind turbines but you're not it's not storing it in the batteries it's not turning your coolers on or any lights or anything so your fridge it's kind of go to kind of go to kind of going to go to shit so hopefully this airlock keeps it refrigerated at the very least you can see that there's it's not spoiling as fast but it's probably going to start help going up to a very high temperature here it kept refrigerated for quite some time so we won't spoil as fast i'm just scared of that meat that uh even though if the meat's not really that bad, simply because that we butchered it as, and put it in the fridge uh, right away. Hopefully the power comes back on very soon, so 
I don't have to deal with any of this crazy stuff anymore. I look, oh, we're already... Oh, we're getting raided now. All right, so they allow me to prepare for a, an attack. So it's, ooh, three meliers with personal shields and maces. So let's see what they got on them for one. This guy's a very good constructor and miner. Psychically hyper, no, screw you. If I, I'm never going to take, oh, you're never going to be a prisoner of Blizz County because you suck, sir. And this guy's abrasive, so I don't want him either. Man, all these guys suck. I'm, I'm, you know, if they're if they're down, I'm just gonna execute them because they are absolutely useless. Hopefully, we can get up in time. The turrets will be okay. They got we got some time to prepare. Uh, the turrets should be enough, really, for these people. I'll see if I can kind of can keep them over here. But yeah, the turrets definitely should be enough to haul out these three people here. It's just it's honestly just three raiders. I'm not really worried about them. We can honestly probably just keep on mining as, you know, not not a whole lot of crazy shit's going to go down with these guys here. Hopefully the power can come back on, though. So that's a little bit of something I'm a little scared about. Power has got to come back on. Exotic goods traders left the comm range. That is A-OK, -okay, good sir. Blizz is out, just, you know, watching the sunrise while there's a bunch of guys over here that want to beat his face in. No big or anything. Elk are starting to move over here. So, they're beginning their assault now. Honestly, I'm... Oh, God. Please, stop the solar flare. Stop the solar flare, please. I'm going to have to pull out what's it called. Because they're starting to move over here. I might pull out a Valentin and... Ivan. Where's Ivan at? He's chilling in the fridge right now. I might pull Valentin out here and pull Ivan out as here as well. Because if those don't come on, we're going to be running into a slight problem. I'll also lock this door as soon as Val as soon as Ivan walks out. So, we're going to see if... Alright, we got pneumatic picks. Well, just as soon as those guys are about to attack, I got some research done. Let's get cremation out, out of the way here, because I'm going to have to do that. Let's see what they're, who they're attacking. They're attacking the steel improvised turret, which is perfect. Because it will still blow up, hopefully, when they attack it. So we got our uh, rifle. I can put my guy down here. I'll put Valentin down here as well. So we have that locked. Come on, solar. Come on, power. You got to come back on now. Oh, I didn't want to move Valentin out of the way. I do I've been shooting. Good. Oh, God. I'm damaging my own sandbags. This ain't good. Okay. If I can actually... Let's see if I can actually... Okay. They are attacking this. You can... Now they're going for the other... You can see where they're, they're taking threat on the towers, right? Now, this is also something that I do want to bring up to the dev of RimWorld, simply because they should be attacking the guys that are going to kill them. You know what I mean? Because, okay. So we can pull back, actually, with these guys. And now we can do, since they're attacking, being attacked by, or getting slowed down by the sandbags, I can actually pull up and have them attack at this guy right now. There's one guy down. Honestly, they blew up both my towers. So I'm just going to execute this kid. Da, kid! Well, I could, I could take him. I could take him, so... He is abrasive. Which basically means that when he socializes with other people, he brings them down. He's 44 years old. He's an okay shooter. That's And he's a good grower, but I already have two growers. X him out, guy. Pop him. Level up your shooting skill. Come on. Pop. That's a very... We're getting very dark at Blizz County. We're actually really damaging our sandbags by doing this, but whatever. I, I want to see how his health... Whoa, look at all those bullets. He's also got a bad back too, so screw him. He's he's gonna he's and he is now dead. So let's see what his gear is. I probably shouldn't have uh, probably shouldn't have done that, but this guy's personal shield is toast. That guy's personal shield is also toast. They dropped a little bit of medicine. They dropped some simple meals. We can now unlock that front door and start making some more graves. There's a turtle and a wild boar chilling on that grave, man. Boars and turtles are getting together. I am now sorry to see that. Okay, let's build uh, three more graves here for those people. Some for the dead homies. Now let's strip this kid as well. Alright, so it's awful cloth pants. None of, none of that stuff is good. And Teresa is now cleaning, just cleaning the blood outside. I'm also going to need to build two turrets as well. Because I have to. That's the thing with turrets, is that, you know, you can sacrifice them and melee pretty much go, um... You got, if you got two turrets, 
Meleers pretty much die. Now that's something I do want to bring up to the dev of RimWorld, just simply because they should have been uh, focusing, especially since the power was down on them, they should have been focusing my uh, colonists, so I'll, I'll actually see if I can make a quick little video on that and bring it up to the dev. But that's how Alpha 10 is right now. So you can use that to your advantage if you so desire. If you think it's cheating, well, don't do it. Simple fact. Okay, so we need to set someone to be the lead repairer, which in this case is Valentin, even though I do want him to be a lead grower here. Ivan is the miner, which we actually have to get done, believe it or not. I don't know what... What am I researching? Cremation? Yeah, cremation can wait. I need to mine out all this stuff. So Jack Notch, I'm going to put you on draft, take you off draft, so you can start mining some granite. Or granite. What am I thinking? Granite. Come on. Come on, guy. Alright. I also have to build the other rooms as well. I just didn't get into that because I believe I was thinking... I, was, I don't think I got raided at that time, but I just wasn't, I just wasn't thinking about it. Okay, this ain't really that good. Um... I'm just going to give this the old pause here. I'll see if I can make a 5x6. It does go outside. Okay, so here we go. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to quickly like redo all this. So there's 6 and then 5. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of all this. I'm just going to try and use my space effectively. So that's now my hallway. And, uh, 6 by 5 and then six by five. There we go, so now I can use this spot up here. This spot ain't gonna be used, but that's okay. I was able to snag another uh, thing right there. I might just make this actually just a whole another really long hallway. Right, right here, so people don't trip over each other. And then I can also set these to be hauled out. Also build some, can I build a wooden improvised turret? Wouldn't that be funny? That'd be the funniest thing ever. Nah, of course not. <laughs> okay, so structure. What we're, uh, I keep building steel doors, and I really shouldn't be. Should have got to be building. I'll just deconstruct. Actually, I got enough steel. I won't deconstruct those. But from now on, it's wooden doors. I told myself that, but I forgot to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some furniture down. Let's make some wooden beds. I could put them, I put them as close as I can to the door, simply because I want them to be able to, be able to walk in and out really fast. And then I can put the lamp up. I'll hold off on the heaters right now. I will put the lamps down, however. So there's one lamp going down there. I will have to extend the power conduit down this hallway. I know that for certain. Well, Jack Notch and Ivan are just oh, smashing that mining right there. All the all my uh, s no, it's just steel that got moved up. All my silver still chilling on this stockpile here. So yeah, we're just focusing on building colonist rooms here, building out the mountain. I typically like trying my very best to keep as much space as possible. I don't like wasting space. So that's why you saw me uh, try to use this space up here. Oh, and there's also some steel here that I can mine out as well. I've got the bed there. I'm also going to build my next bed. Build my next standing lamp right uh, here. And I'll build my next bed right there. So, now with these constructors, what they can start doing is start building the beds, and then I can start deconstructing these ones. Maybe make one of them a medical bed, just for right now, because I don't have a hospital yet. And I can also extend this. Oh, well, god damn it! Look at this. My plans just went to shit, because this area right here decided to, you know, get in on Blizz County, even though it's still, it's unroofed. Hmm. Okay. Well then, there goes my plans. <laughs> um, dang. I'm amazed I didn't see it when I actually cut through here. Okay, so. Now that's out of the bag. I might need to make some uh, wooden walls here to continue on my voyage of making rooms. Man, I was so close to actually unveiling this with the fridge as well. Okay, so now what we have to do is quickly, no, not quickly, but we got to efficiently think of a way to make this not suck. So this is unroofed here, so I could actually make this all roofed right now, which I probably will do. 
So what you can do is you can go zone, add home. Well, first we have to, do we want to, I'll make it all home region right now. Also need to make the home region the other testy of the fridge. And then um, what I have to do is add a, a remove, hmm, apparently it's still unroofed, even though you know, I'm, I'm chilling it now. I have to add a roof on there. I had no roof region. That's already this, though. I guess this is just all unroofed right now. So I'm going to have to build a... This is technically inside, but it's still unroofed. So, okay. Constructed roof. What do you mean it's a construct... Now there's a constructed... It says, it says it's unroofed! I guess the whole thing's unroofed now. That's super weird. Because I guess it doesn't... No, that's 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 super strange to me. Anyway, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna actually just get rid of all this here, right there. Get rid of this, and I'll start building my wooden walls around here. Okay, that's, I gotta use the planning feature here. There's also I have this is the first time I've had to use it because I've never had a plan this go this bad. So. We're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this. So there's gonna be a hallway here, and it's gonna go through like this. So what I can do is I can actually get rid of this. I'll get rid of this as well. What I'll do is I'll plan this out here. And then I can do this for a wall, and then continue the wall here. Hmm. So if I can, I, I, I actually might cancel this. Continue the wall here. This is just for the walls and such. But I also need to make a room, so I can make the room. Now I'm running into the same problem as I did before. Whoops! Okay. So we can mine this out entirely then. Let's make the plan. So let's go two down, go across, like such. Actually, just make the uh, six by five here, and that will be a wall. Okay, that will be the pathway. Okay, so I need to. I'm, I'm just planning out the wall here. All right. So now this is this this uh, thing here is the hallway, and now what I can do is I can branch this down here, make a six by five six by five okay so what this will do is I'll just have walls going all around this here and hopefully this works out pretty well this just went this just got super difficult for absolutely no reason the reason why I'm not connecting the walls right there is simply because dang it <laughs> dang it Dang it, Bobby. Let's have to move everything one unit down then. My goodness, I'm an engineer. I shouldn't have to do this. I shouldn't. It's just trial and error is what it is. So if I actually make it move at one down here. Hmm. What I can do is just do it like this. Okay. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Let's cancel it here. Let's cancel it here. Let's build some wooden doors here. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, and that means that we now have to build wooden walls that go from here to here. Wooden walls that go around like this. And wooden walls that go through like that. Okay, so that must mean that we mine here. We also mine here. I guess we could use that for stockpile space. Why the hell not, right? Or I could just, you know, not mine that. Perfect. So that is now where we're going to have three more colonist rooms, which will be enough to hold all of our colonists. For right now, anyway. Man, we went from... I guess that's karma for me executing that colonist up here. I guess that's the main reason that Valentin is just repairing the goddamn sandbags. He's having a time of his life. Fixing them sandbags up. So we're going to have a raid every now and again. 
Okay, I was a little scared. Colonist's treatment. What happened to him? He got. Oh God! No, the squirrel was right behind him. A local squirrel. Man, it's it was spawned right behind Valentin. All right. Okay. Avengers assemble! We have to fucking punch this squirrel to death here. Mortal Kombat the squirrel, Valentin. You gotta, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. Okay, you both good. You have to put this squirrel out of its misery right now. We ain't, we ain't having, we ain't have this squirrel come back. Okay, so that, we gotta get one of these beds uh, built up pretty dang fast here. So Valentin's bed will now become a, host, uh, a medical bed. So I pushed H to make it a medical bed, and I'll now prioritize receiving treatment in that bed, and our doctor. Jack Notch will actually go and fix him up wherever Jack Notch happens to be. You can see Valentin's going inside. He's going to receive some. Bed is reserved for. What do you mean? I got to prioritize treating him, so I just had to right click one more time. Okay. So now I can also set a haul things command here. And he. So yeah. That's typically how I like doing my colonist stuff. So you also got to get rid of all these trunks or else, you know, beauty goes down. The colonists don't really like their room anymore. This should be done pretty dang quick here. I'm also going to need to build those two turrets. A roof collapsed. Oh, God. Please, where? Where's this roof they speak of? I don't even see any where any of these roofs are. There's no... Did anyone get hurt? Well, Valentin's is out, you know, he's walking off the moon. He's walking off the scratches from the squirrel. Hopefully, there's no roof here, like... Let's make this a no-roof region right now. But I can't. So, alright. Um, it'll become a roofed region really soon. We have struck compacted steel in one of the rooms. Okay, that's cool. More steel, and I'm, get, I'm sure if we mine through it, we'll find a new area revealed like this. Just a random hole in the middle of a mountain. So, this is now going to be an, just a colonist bed here. I don't think there's any... There's no trading going on. The herbalist is fully healed now. So what we're going to try and do is get all those beds up before the end of the episode here. Just to show you what a really kind of, you know, MacGyvered setup looks like for rooms. This looks, this is absolutely going to be silly, but, you know, something you just got to do. Blizz County, we's all about improvising. Yep. Go to sleep, Valentin. Well, I guess he's, was pretty, he was pretty much in bed the whole day after, you know, the medical, the medical emergency there. I'll put Valentin to uh, max at repairing, and then growing can become number two. I need him to actually build. We got the standing lamp. Blizz is building all that stuff now. Blizz just has nothing better to do. And look, look, we're get, we're starting to get some progress here. We got two beds. That means we can actually get rid of two of them here. So we can deconstruct, deconstruct. So, yeah. It all looks good when a plant starts coming together. Except, did I put a wall there? That's a door. I put the doors where they're supposed to go. Hopefully, no one. God, Ivan, please don't lock yourself out. Oh, God, I'm scared. Oh, man, I'd, I'd have to deconstruct the wall and whatever. Combat supplier, perfect. I'd have loved you to come by in my trading episode, but you didn't. But it's. Gl I'm glad you came back now, combat supplier. So, vaporize unwanted corpses. I can put on some stone cutting now. So, Teresa, I want you to call the combat supplier here. So you can see our, the medicine from the combat supplier, it's not red, so that means it's a uh, fair price it's when it's white. No, uh, you got your guns. I could sell some of the guns. You got some poor power armor, an awful Kevlar helmet. None of this stuff I really want. I do want a lot of medicine, though. Traders own where to sell. So you can see if you, if you go left, you buy, and if you go right, you sell. So you click here, go left, and I'm buying medicine now. I want to buy probably about 10. I can buy only nine right now because I don't have all my silver on the uh, thing. But we're gonna have 26 medicine, which I believe is quite quite fair to have. We can also move the silver over here, make this just a preferred 
I should have just kept it on preferred and have someone haul this stuff up. So yeah, looks like we got, this is now indoors, we got a room here. These are all rooms now, which is very good. Very ghetto looking setup here. I gotta put down furniture. Let's put down the wooden bed here. Put down a wooden bed here. Let's put another wooden bed here. Now let's put down some standing lamps. It's 23 degrees in here, so it's actually pretty pretty solid. Also gonna need to extend the power conduit down. Are the turrets built? Both the turrets are built again. You can see when the turrets are destroyed, they drop steel slags. I think you saw that in the last one. You can smelt those down into... You can smelt those back down into steel with the electric smelting uh, research. And I might be doing that really soon if I got a good crafter. Which, do I? Blizz the crafter, man. Okay. So, one more day, I think, and we'll have all these rooms up. The two of those beds got deconstructed, and I can see Valentin and Ivan have their own beds now. And uh, beauty is probably really bad, but you can see that they're not going to get the debuff from Disturbed Sleep. They are getting a cramped environment because they're full. It's full of all these uh, slag chunks and whatnot. Ugly environment. Okay. Hmm. Or maybe it's just because they. Yeah, you can see this guy doesn't have a cramped environment. He's got less uh, less chunks in it, right? So we'll see how that goes. Blizz. At least I don't have to deal with chunks in these next rooms here. we got a bunch of beds. We can deconstruct the last three beds. Good times. All those are repaired. All those are built. We are pretty much looking really good on this colony now. Where's Valentin at? I'll get him to hunt those uh, deer out. Oh, they're hauling back the uh, people to their grave. I'm going to go uh, kill some deer. Let's kill some deer here. Fire at the deer. Don't get in my way, turtle. All right. Or the boom rat. God damn it. Last time that a boom rat came in my way, it exploded and I was scared. Okay, that boom rat looks like... We're getting raided one more time. Drop pods, they're attacking immediately. How many drop pods? Three drop pods? What do they got? It's another melee army. And they have a plast good plasteel knife. And, um, whatever's in here. Plasteel knife. Okay, they can cut. If I had a love to build a wall right there and just wall them off, that'd be pretty funny. But yeah, they're gonna come down there attacking immediately, so... Valentin, I'm gonna need you to haul back this, uh, deer. Can't haul the deer corpse, because it's forbidden. Okay, well, haul back the deer corpse. Okay, so... Hmm. Looks like we are getting raided here. I did go over how to make these uh, rooms here. So, I believe I'll deal with this raid next time on Blizz County. Tune back for episode, I believe this one's going to be episode, eight. Uh, the next one's going to be episode 8. This one's episode 7, I believe. I'm, I'm still losing track. So until then, I'll see you on Blizz County.